Hey there, back again. More AC4. We're in Portobello. This is my favorite map for sure. Uh, it's, I guess, at least it feels small compared to the other maps. Um, and also, there's no roofs, so people can't be on the roofs, which is awesome in my book. Uh, here, I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> Maybe I pushed the wrong button or something, but that should have been an easy first blood and kill. Oh well. Okay, so the beginning of this match goes terribly for me. I've got my times two loss streak, which um, gives you a times two um, multiplier on your kill following the point where you pick up this streak. So your streak has to reach 10 losses. Two two losses for every time you get stunned or killed and one for every time you lose a contract to somebody else so now I got stunned I got killed so I'm at four already that equals five uh, you pick up points where I can by finishing my target here this person comes at me and levitate myself and die again um, yeah, in that situation, never run because, as you can see, he only got 50 points for that kill. I got 100 for the contested stun, so that's kind of a no-brainer. Here's another genius move by me. I was not looking at my compass at all. Big mistake. So, lost another contract, got stunned. At this point, I know I'm probably close to my loss streak, even though it's happened really fast. But you kind of you want to be cognizant of that if that's something that you are um, using as your loss streak, because if I was just to go just grab a kill right now, it, it would pretty much screw my chances of having a giant kill, which is what I, I really want. Um, so at this point, I guess I am stalking this guy. I want to I want to kill him, but thankfully I lost the contract, and there you can see my times two multiplier on there. So, when this happens, you really want to be patient. Get the best kill you can because obviously your score is going to double. So I see my guy here. I don't want to take him um, unless I'm at least hidden and preferably on one of these benches that are all over Portobello. I saw him switch into Lady Black, so I know that's him. I'm going to take this bench here and hope that he comes by. And Yep, as you'll see, I snag him. And yes, this is going to be a real real kill score. One kill. 2,700 points. You can see the power of the times two there, and I'm back in the lead. Um, this was just unbelievably bad. So basically in this match so far, I've done one thing right, and that was be patient with my times two kill. <laughs> Besides that, God, there's been a lot of mistakes. And I end up with a real good score, so shit, I wish I wouldn't have made those mistakes. And then I die again. So anyway, this map is great. You really want to take advantage of the benches. Um, of course, the bench kills give you a times three multiplier. Any hidden kills a times two. So really, whenever you're going for your target, besides moving stealthily, you really, really want to be hidden, blended, um, or on a bench. It really makes a huge difference, especially when you should really be only going for kills that are 350 or 450, which is great and better approach. Uh, what the hell do they call it? Great and perfect approach, yeah. Those are really what you want to go for. You know, people fly around and get 150 point kills. It's ridiculous. So now I've, I've really got my defensive abilities up for this reason right here. Um, I don't, since I'm not using the blender perk, it kind of it does help to use like decoy or bodyguard or disguise um, or combinations of these abilities um, because sometimes it's tough to find um, somebody who looks just like you to 
sit around with. Um, so yeah, uh, in this map, I really like to sit here in the middle. The benches are awesome. I just saw him use a disguise again. Do I get him again here? I think I do. Yeah, maybe I should have. Should have pushed those NPCs off the bench and took the bench. I could have got another times three. Just wasn't patient enough. Uh, I never really used the Wayfarer as a character. I think he's really cool, but um, like at earlier levels when um, you might not be as good or as practiced or, or have the ability sets that other players have, you want to pick a character that does not like stand out and so that you're easy to pick out in the crowd. So, I guess a rule of thumb to use is if you can see certain characters easier from far away or pick them out, then you probably don't want to be that character. I guess be whoever you think looks cool or whatever, but I, I always felt like the Wayfarer's big wide-brimmed hat, it gave him away too easily. He's really easy to pick out, even from far away. Whereas some of the the other characters maybe look more like each other or don't have extremely distinct um, appearances. So if you're just starting or at lower levels, I would definitely go for somebody like that. Somebody that you can't pick out easily from, from a distance or in a crowd. So I walked right by my fucking target. Still, don't, I still don't realize it. <laughs> See, I make a lot of mistakes in this round, which surprises me watching it back. Because I, I do end up with a decent score for sure. Now you'll notice right there how I got in right behind that NPC. You, like I said before, easy way to pick up a quick hidden. Just look for some, look for somewhere to hide real quick. It'll really make a difference on your scores, big time. So there you can see I tried to go for the bench. He just wasn't quite close enough. There is some a little bit of leeway that they give you when leaving the bench. You got probably a few steps you can sprint at your target and get him. Um, There's another bench kill, real nice. And you can see how I haven't been killing a lot of people. Um, it's just the kills are high quality and that's what it, the name of the game is here. Except that one, <laughs> I had no choice really though. You take them where you can, but. So I'm pretty certain this person's after me. And now, uh, you see, I tried to knife her and then stun her. So uh, that's kind of finicky. You gotta be the exact right distance away and time things right. And I, I don't know. It's been tough for me at least to get a real good grasp on it. Yeah, another stupid mistake. I've made a like three or four of that exact same mistake in this round alone. Try to get a lock on your opponent. Take my advice. Do as I say, not as I do. How about that? If I would have had a lock on a few of these guys, my I definitely would have been over seven here. But anyway, yeah, like I, like I've said, I want to stress the importance of using blend groups and benches wherever you can. I know sometimes it's not possible because you've got you've got players who like to sprint around. Whenever they hear whispers, they just jet the fuck out of there. It's real annoying to play that way, and it's hard to get high scores against those kind of opponents. But once in a while, you'll end up in a in a nice room where you know you've got players who play the game stealthily too and you can really play your best games against those type of opponents. And that's what makes it fun. 
Now what I really should have been doing here is putting myself ahead of this person. I see they're getting chased and stuff. You want If that's happening, you want to try to cut them off. Go where they're going to be because you just follow them forever if they're just sprinting like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this match. My 2.7k kill. That's a big one. Uh, and I'll see you next time. What's up, assassins? It's me, Gamer Goat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other AC4 videos and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.